Hey everybody, Clint and Cruz here. We got a chance to go see Crimson Peak early, like way early. We like, saw it like a, like a month, month ago. ago. It was uh, a really cool screening that you two put together that Guillermo del Toro actually showed up to. And I'm super glad he did because I feel like the entirety of this review is going to be about, like, make sure you know what movie this is before you go and see it. Yes. Even though Guillermo del Toro was talking to the crowd and, like, after the movie for an hour and a half, he made sure to show up before the movie yeah. to say... The marketing for this movie right. sucks ball sacks. <laughs> Basically, the moral of the story is this is not a horror movie. Not the, at all. The really? trailers make it look like a jump out and scare you haunted house kind of horror movie. And that's not what it is. It was really interesting to hear uh, Del Toro talk about the film beforehand because one, you could tell that he's very, very proud of it. He mm -hmm. loves this movie very much. You can even feel that in the movie itself. Yeah. You can feel how much love was put into it. It's almost like a really good meal when your mom is in like a great mood and you're like, oh, my mom loves me. He, he cared about every frame of this, which is a hallmark of Del Toro's stuff. All mm -hmm. of his stuff is very intricate and it's, it's very gothic and it looks really, really cool. So it's a beautiful film in that regard. But also the, the most interesting part about what he said to us prior to the, to the movie was like, look, this is not a horror film. It is a gothic romance. This is a simplification, but it puts it in the same bucket as like Jane Eyre yeah. or novels by the Bronte sisters. Or Rebecca, Hitchcock's old Rebecca. Yeah. Like that, that type of film. It's very, very dark, very romantic. There are definitely jump scares and supernatural elements in yeah. the film. It's a dark, like scary, sexy Bronte novel. Right. But it's still a Bronte novel. Well, and even being able to watch it sort of objectively with the knowledge that he gave us going into the movie, it's like, no, 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 this would have been a very bad horror movie, but it is a, like, sexy, scary version of Jane Eyre, and mm -hmm. I'm into that. So, all of that to say about what type of movie this is, once you get past that, it's it's a really good that type of movie. Yeah. Like, it really is. It's yeah. a lot of fun to watch. I'm usually not a fan of directors coming into screenings uh, and talking about their movies because I think I think we all agree that a movie should speak for itself. And I think this movie does speak for itself. Not that Guillermo del Toro needs to walk into your room and explain this movie to you before you watch well, it. It is helpful. It is helpful, but it's not necessary. The movie stands on its own legs, right. but marketing has created an expectation about this movie that's untrue. Right. And so we want to undercut that expectation. Exactly. But it is really good. The yeah. writing is really strong. The characters are really interesting. The performances are great. And fuck, this movie is beautiful. It's gorgeous. Structurally, it's a really interesting movie because it's a little bit more of a five-act structure than a three-act structure. Yeah. Um, and so you don't actually get to the house until about halfway through the movie mm -hmm. uh, even though you've seen it in the trailers over and over again um and that act helped my experience i was waiting for it to get i wanted to get to crimson peak i wanted to get right. to crimson peak and when we finally got there it was really satisfying it was the performances are also really great uh, tom hiddleston is is awesome um mia wasikowski um, is is very good in her role. Jessica Chastain is just a blast to yeah. watch. Like every time she's on screen, is there's like something terrifying going on underneath all of her choices, uh, and so it makes for a really great performance. Uh, Charlie Hunnam, I don't get. Charlie Hunnam. Well, here's the thing. <laughs> Charlie Hunnam is plays without spoiling anything. Charlie Hunnam plays the role he looks like. Yeah. And that's it. Yeah. A really interesting thing about the movie is that it does take the tropes of sort of that classic romance movie and flip them a little bit. And yeah. Mia Wachikowski gets a lot of the things that Charlie Hunnam's character would be able to do or is supposed to do. Yeah. Uh, and she gets a lot of his lines. She gets a lot of his action. And it, it, it gives it a really interesting sort of twist. It gives the narrative a bunch of really interesting twists and turns that are really cool. It does make Charlie Hunnam even more useless than he already is. Right. I mean, the plot of the movie is pretty straightforward. There's some interesting twists and turns along the way. Um, some you see coming more than others. But we don't need to get into that. I don't want to spoil anything for you because ultimately the movie is about the experience of seeing it. Uh, it's it's they don't. It's not a movie that, that gets made much anymore. Mm -mm. Like it's, especially it's not at the budget level. Withering right. Heights. It's Jane Eyre. It's Rebecca. Uh, it's a lot of those movies that you watched in film school. And this is a very good sort of love letter to those type of movies. And it's it's not a bad horror movie. It's a scary, sexy Jane Eyre. 
Yeah, I think you should actually go see this movie in theaters. If you're a fan of film, yeah. artistically, this movie is worth seeing on the big screen. See it as big as it, you can find it's it. It's just really worth taking that that the visuals in and the music and mm -hmm. everything in, in in that setting. Um, that being said, if you're really not a fan of like the ro the romance story. This does add a little bit of like action and sex and and horror yep. to it that makes it really fun to watch. Uh, but if you f***ing hate that, sh then don't go see it. Also, it's a really interesting movie to go and see in the context of how we sell our movies mm -hmm. and how how the movies get marketed and how like you can understand how a studio would not know what to do with this movie. But. Guys, it comes out this weekend. Go check it out. Come back. Let us know what you thought about it in the comments below. Or if you've already seen it, let us know what you think about it in the comments down below. Click like and subscribe and come back next time for more movie news on Cinefix Now. Fans do seem to, like, our fans do seem to go to early screenings. They do. I feel like How everybody do you guys has. Do that? Can they're you guys all in tell other countries. Me? Oh, it comes out early in other countries. Look, to be honest, I don't know. <laughs>